welcome to my channel. My name is Louise. I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and this is my very first YouTube video. Um, I'm more into the makeup and skincare, so that's what I feel like my channel is going to be about. Um, anything else that I think of, I'm just going to chuck in as well, but it's more so on your beauty side. So that's exciting. Um, I love makeup. I love skin. Um, I just want to sort of share what I know with you guys or share my looks and things like that because I see a lot of YouTube videos and like I want to get in the scenes who like I love this shit this makes me so happy so hopefully you guys enjoy it um, and yeah this is my day-to-day -day look so if you guys like it or want to see how I got this look please keep watching I'm gonna start off with prepping my face I just cleansed it with my um, skincare regime and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Mecca Maxima 30 plus Tuesday face. This is so easy. So I just kind of get like pea size amount. Open my whole face. So that is the sunscreen that I use um, right now. And I love it because it's not too thick. It's not like a sunblock. It really absorbs nicely into your skin. So that's good. Um, I'm then going to go ahead and moisturize my face. Right now I'm just going to use the Origins Drink Up. Um, moisturizer, yay! That this is kind of actually a mask. I use it a little bit more on a daily basis because I love the smell. I like how it feels, and I feel like it really um, hydrates my skin nicely. So I got a pea size amount again, and again after just my sunscreen, I'm gonna apply my moisturizer. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. Now I have quite oily skin, um, as you guys can see. I don't know if you can see, like with all this lighting on me, I have quite large holes in my face which are just my pores that means they're super open super wide therefore giving me oily skin I'm gonna go in with the hourglass veil primer I love this primer um this one is my favorite um so far oh look at that focus I love this auto, auto focus don't have to do anything myself um from then uh, I'm just gonna use probably like that much a little bit less than a pea size because this primer is really nice it's kind of like it spreads really easy I don't know if you guys have used it but I find it spreads nice and easy um, on the skin it's not kind of like your pore minimizer primer it feels a tiny 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 bit that way but it's more on the kind of hydrating feel side like your gel type of moisturizer rather than like your fluffy mousse moisturizer and that's what I like about it I feel like it like controls the oil I don't want to be shiny over her from the oil. Like we want to be dewy, maybe not too shiny. Um, and it hydrates as well a little bit. But if you're really dry, I probably wouldn't recommend this primer because it is more suited for your oily skin types like me. It is oil free, so that's good. It's got SPF 15 in it and it's got, um, it helps kind of minimize the appearance of pores. I wouldn't say a lot, like not like your kind of pore professional or your pore minimizer by Smashbox, but it helps a little bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put some... So. And if that shit broke, I would have been upset as a mark. I'm going to go ahead and use the Stella foundation. This is the Stay All Day foundation. Um, I love this foundation right now. Like, one of my favourites right now. I haven't tried a lot. Like, I have to admit, I have not tried a lot of foundations. I haven't tried all your, like... Giorgio Armani and or Marc Jacobs and say this is my favorite but right now it's my favorite though from the little amounts that I've tried if that makes any sense if hey, that makes sense but if it doesn't like y'all get me um anyway this one is an oil-free high def high performance foundation it stays all day um, and delivers a flawless finish now this one is a full coverage semi matte so that means it's going to give you that full coverage matte finish but it's not going to be like a flat matte finish if you get what I mean sometimes you get a foundation and it's so matte you look like dry and just flat this one gives a really like it's like a satiny velvety kind of matte finish it's really nice on the skin um, anyway I feel like I've just talked about skin a bit too much there so I'm going to just move on to putting it on my face um, I am in the shade do you want to see what shade I am I don't know if it's going to load Maybe not, but I'm number one. I am the colour bare. Like, bare nothing on your skin. Like, wait, motherfucker. <laughs> um, but I like it. I like number one bare because I find that it's a neutral light tone. 
Like it's not too pink and it's not too yellow. It's more on the yellow side, if anything. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Beauty Blender. Um, I did dampen it like a couple of hours ago, but... I start off on my cheekbones because I've got a lot of acne scarring there and then I bring it up because my pores, yeah, I want to cover but I don't want to cover too much because that's not my main sort of focus area of where I want to put foundation. Yeah, I just did another layer and that's when I kind of start there to the side, bring it down and then I bring it back up. Now I don't go too far in my eyes because that's where my foundation is going to go. I don't bring it too far down my neck because A, I'm wearing a, a top that goes like to my chin basically, my double chins. And um, B, because it is my right foundation shade, I don't really need to bring it down. And that's what I love. I had to accept like how pale I was to get the right shade. Um, I never thought like buying shade one in foundation. Because I'm actually, like my sister says that I'm transparent sometimes. Like if you see my leg, it looks like that. <laughs> um, and I look like a ghost basically. Go ahead and set my foundation with, <sighs> I've recently got this for my birthday, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's my fave, like everybody else in the world's favourite, um, is mine too. Now, oh, I'm wearing a good top. This is going to go kind of everywhere. Wait, let's try. Oh, is it going everywhere yet? So I'm just using the Zoeva 101 Luxe Face Defining Brush. Looks like that. Zoeva. Oh, that's heavy. Um, and what I do basically, I pat it on my forehead and then I pat it on my nose. Oh my god, guys, look at that. What the fuck is happening to my brush? God. I think it was leaning against my old brush because I saw it like when it was first happening, but maybe it's like turned into something new. Anyway, oh wow. Pat off the excess because there's a lot of excess powder. Um, and again, like I said, I pat when I do my um, translucent powder and I do it in my T zone because that's where. I get the most shine and then towards the sides I kind of give it a quick dust. I'm going to go in with my concealer. Um, I have recently got this again for my birthday, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Actually it was not for my birthday, I bought it the other day. <laughs> um, I use probably like that amount. Anyway, I take my beauty blender and I pop it. And if you guys see me looking like up, just like right there, that's the little screen that has me. Um, that I'm is that in the way? That is so in the way. I pretty much do it all underneath my eye. I take it back to my temples. Make sure you get all up in there. Yes, honey. We want to be, my eye was probably like rolling around just then. We want to be bright as fuck. So take a little bit more on the other side. And I'm just patting. You want to pat, you don't want to like drag because then you're going to ruin the foundation you have underneath. I've pretty much done my concealer there. I kind of take a little bit on my nose just with whatever, whatever is remaining. My cupid's bow, my chin. I'm so hot behind this camera. Oh my god, my battery's going to die. My, com my freaking camera's turning off. <sighs> Going in with my translucent powder. Um, like Jeffree Star said, use that shit with a damp beauty blender. Like your translucent in a damp with a damp beauty blender. Love you, Jeffree. Oh my god. But baking for people that don't know is just packing on or oh, packing on translucent powder underneath the eye or the nose or the face and let it letting it sit for a little bit longer than you know, your quick dust. So maybe five minutes or so, depending on how much time you guys have. Again, damp beauty blender with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna pack that underneath my eye. 
like see how I look like a clean it up cold core. Um, see how I look like a bit of a funny, funny looking human right now. Um, that's because I'm baking. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, in the meantime, off camera, I just did my eyebrows, as you can see, and I just dusted off my baking. I also baked my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin, just because my battery is about to die. And I want to do everything um, quick. It'll be just a really basic sort of face, day to day, what I do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bronze my skin, and I'm using my Too Faced book of bronzers. It's one of my favourite, like bronzing things. I contouring. I used my so we have a Lux highlight brush. Um, I'm sorry, I do not know the number. It's rubbed off, but it looks it looks like that. So it's small, it's tapered, um, and it fits perfectly when you want to kind of really sketch in them cheekbones. So I'm gonna go ahead and take milk chocolate, rub that shit all up in there. I take mine a little bit higher. I used to contour like there but now I kind of contour it there and I find that it really lifts my cheekbones up a little bit more so I'm gonna just mmm that one in my mouth and do you know how nice this tastes guys and I find I usually straight down and then I circular motion it up and I don't take it too far and I stop like right there near my near my line my eyeball um, I'm going to go ahead and take that brush, the Zoeva um, 101 brush, and just blend that out because I went too hand because you couldn't see it on camera, and now it looks like a line. There you go. Put it that side. All right. Get your ass back over there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some blush on my face. Um, and I'm using their Hourglass Diffused Heat. Look at that. It's my camera and my light. Can you guys see? Diffused Heat. Yes. So it looks like that. It's quite um, a rosy colour. I'm going to go ahead and use my Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish. And it looks like, like that. So I kind of swirl it in. Well in, dust it on. That's my blush bronzer, blush bronzer. And now my highlight. Now my favorite, favorite highlight is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. You guys already know what it is. Um, I use that with the Smashbox fan brush. I don't know what the name of this is, but it's just their fan brush. So I go ham, like dig in, pat a little bit up, and then turn it over. So right now I'm going to pretty much apply it on my cheekbone. <sighs> Come through. Can I just say, look at that. Like I uh, take it a little bit under my eye. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I'm going to hurry up because my camera is literally about to die. It's on 2%. Like when it's on... Like, does it die when it's on like 1%? Like, if I don't, does it have a good lasting time on 1%? I don't know, but anyway. So, come through. I do my brows, like underneath my brows, all the way up, all the way up. Don't forget that nose. I didn't, I don't really nose contour because I find I don't always have time for it. So, I always highlight my face. So that's what the Mary Luminizer looks like when it's on, oh, really glowy. I love it. I love this look. I'm going to go ahead and put mascara on, but I'm going to do that separately. Um, so this is the final look. I will list below all the products that I've used. And if you guys like this video, um, please subscribe, thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see next. This is just a really simple kind of look that I did, my day-to-day -day routine. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos. <laughs> You guys can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Louisiana, L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-A-A. And my Snapchat, which is L-O-U-I-S-I-A-N-N-A-A. -A -A -A. <laughs>
that was a tongue full. So my YouTube, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I just kind of skipped through some things because my battery and the lighting and things like that. Um, but it will get better soon. I had so much fun doing this, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! My name is Louise. This on. Is this on? Is it? Oh no. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I didn't do any mis um, mascara. I didn't mascara. I didn't do any eyeshadow or anything like that. You know that look where it's like. Hey. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, you there. Oh. And my Instagram is L. Oh, disappeared. U I S I A I A double. No, wait. If you guys wanted, oh, camera moving on Snapchat. I'm a Snapchat whore. Like, if you don't want to see a lot, like, don't add me because <laughs> I go cry. Hope you guys enjoyed though. So, I will see you next time. Bye. Okay.